Hi everyone, this is the video for cellos to practice Banua. So we're going to be working on just the first line. That's all I want us to focus on right now. It'll be very similar to what we would do in lessons in school, where we'll do like little chunk by chunk and then um, try to put it together. So the first thing that I want you to do is make sure your bow is tightened Make sure it has a nice curve to it. We don't want the curve going up because that's not good for the bow. And remember to tighten it. You turn it away from you. To loosen it, you turn it towards you. So to tighten it right now, turn it away from you until there's a nice little, looks like a smile. And then check your bow hand. Your fingers should be over nice and relaxed. The second thing that I'd like you to do is if your instrument, so if your instrument does not sound like that, you could pause the video and either grab a parent or guardian. And if you go on my staff web pages in the orchestra tab, there is a little presentation to try to learn how to tune your instrument. Now I, always want you to have a parent or guardian to help you to never tune by yourself and try to not touch these the big pegs i've always said i don't want you to touch them a lot of your tuning will can be done by the little fine tuners so in in that presentation on my staff webpage, if you go to the orchestra tab there's a little slideshow explaining how to tune but even if your instrument isn't in tune, you can still practice because you'll get the muscle memory. So long story short, if your instrument's out of tune, you can pause this video, grab a parent or guardian and see if you can get it at least a little closer. If not, we're gonna continue. So I want to just focus on measure one right now, measure one of Banawa. So we start on F sharp, which is three on the D string. And you wanna make sure your fingers are right on those tapes. Make sure your hands are relaxed. The cello's right in front of you and not off to the side like that. It goes right in front of you. And then make sure your bow is in between the bridge and the fingerboard. So I will go first, just like we've done in lessons. So my turn first. So right now, listen. All right, my turn first, just the first measure. Three, 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 four, four, four. Can we do that together? So it goes three, 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 four, four, four. Let's try it. Put your third finger, get ready, and we start down bow. So your frog will move first. Here we go, let's try it. One, two, ready, play. Three, 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 four, four, four. Let's do that one more time, okay? So third finger. One, two, ready, play. Three, 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 four, four, four. All right, now onto the measure two. A little bit trickier. My turn first. We go three, three, one, D. Notice that open D, it is long. That is two and a half beats, so it is not this. We don't wanna stop the sound, we wanna continue it. My turn first, one more time. Three, three, one, hold. Can we try that together? So we're on measure two. Put your third finger, third finger on the tape. And we go three, three, one, open. Let's try it. One, two, ready, play. Three, three, one, open. You can pause the video and try that by yourself. Okay, I want us to put together measures one and two. I'm gonna go first. While I am playing, I want you to um, 
I think it's called ghost fingers, where I want you to move your fingers, but not your bow. So while I'm playing, move your fingers so you can practice the movement. We start with three on D, and it's my turn first. One, two, my turn. Three, 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 four, 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 three, three, one, open. Good. Can we try that together? Third finger on D. Measures one and two. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. Three, 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 four, 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 three, three, one, open. Good. Or I, I'm sure it's good. How do I keep saying good, even though I don't hear you. All right. I want you to pause this video and I want you to try the first two measures by yourself. Maybe two or three times by yourself. So pause the video. All right, and to finish up, let us practice measure three. We're gonna save measure four for the next lesson. So measure three, we start on open A. So we put our bow on the A string. Remember, our elbow needs to come up on our bow hand, so if it's too low, we're gonna hit the D string. So put your elbow up. We start on open A. My turn first. A, 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 one, one, one. Can we try that together? Bow on the A string, we go down bow. All right, get ready. One, two, ready, play. A, 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 one, one, one. Good. What I want you to try um, at home, you're at home. After you're done watching this video, try to play the first three measures. We're going to start at measure four next time. But here's what the first three measures sound like. So I want you to use your ghost fingers and play along with me, but not using the bow. I'm going to play the first three measures. Starts on three on D. Mm -hmm. All right. One, two, my turn. Three, three, three. Four, 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 three, three, one, open. A, 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 one, one, one. All right, that concludes this video. What I'd like you to do after this video ends, try those three measures on your own. All right, stay tuned for the next video. Bye.